right, everybody, welcome back, finally, to Controller Clinic. And today we're going to talk about what I've been doing for the past couple of months. Um, aside from making some sound packs, few and far between. Between that, I have been building some MIDI controllers. Um, I love video games. I grew up with Sega Genesis and Nintendo, and I thought, what better use when I found this box of old games is to turn them into some MIDI controllers. So right now I'm going to show you some of the stuff I made. Um, the first one we have is a Nintendo cartridge. This is actually was like a golf game, but I photoshopped and some Illustrator um, a Ninja Turtles original label and then I printed it out, did all that, installed an LED, and then I had one of my friends who actually 3D printed all of the green knobs who kind of look like melted Ninja Turtle figurines. Um, as a knob, so I have them in, and then I've got these little rubber pads on the bottom, and um, LED light for indicator that it's on. But uh, so it's eight knobs, you know, for anything in Ableton or a tractor, you just map them, and it's just a cool little controller just to have out in your gear, have something different. Um, you now we actually have the uh, USB port right inside where the cartridge is big, and um, all of these are using the, um, except for this one, are using the. Teensy board, so Teensy 2.0. It's about the size of my thumb. They're really small and really easy to um, code as far as the MIDI goes. Next up, we have the uh, I call it the Mini Twist. This is the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 again. Um, it was like a Pac-Man game, and I swapped out the label. Something cool that the game really enjoyed, but didn't destroy. So I made the Sonic label, installed LED, four knobs. Um, and then, you know, again, the rubber feet, this kind of helps it because these aren't very heavy weight, so if you've got some equipment, they're not going to slide anywhere on you and twist the knobs. Um, next up, um, my Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark VHS tape. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, it's just 12 knobs. I got a little carried away with the knobs. I covered up the back with some plastic that I cut out just so the wires wouldn't fall through, and I actually installed right here where the USB plug-in is. Um, it's just kind of nice, it kind of hides it, and I made sure to remove the spring, otherwise there would be a lot of tension on the cord and then the input. So, um, and then I said, you know what, I'm getting tired of knobs, what else can I make? Because in this process I was thinking, you know, eventually I can make something that other people want and I can sell them, but I mean, knobs just didn't seem to cut it. So I found these mini arcade buttons and um, they work great. I mean, they're, you know, just little tiny push buttons that have their arcade feel. And then I've just got six potenti potentiometer knobs and an LED and again, you know, made the mock label up because the one on it was like a Mortal Kombat game. Put some rubber feet and this one, um, just because there wasn't enough room for the chip I had to put in the back. So we've got the USB port back there. And yeah, so six knobs, four buttons. Great for clip launching or effects, and then you know you can change everything. Um, this was originally my first one I started with. It has an Arduino board in it, and it's actually 3D printed wood. And then I sanded it so it sanded it, it looks a little bit more like real wood. And um, then we have the Adafruit uh, trellis, which is actually kind of gives it like a launch pad, but like mini launch pad buttons. So about the size of a guitar effects pedal, and you have a little. 16 mini kind of like midi fighter controller or mini launch pad so it's just really awesome just to kind of learn how to build my own midi controllers and um, kind of see where we can go from there so i've got more in store so we will keep you updated with what we have stay tuned <laughs> 